Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and then we're going to use that deck right there. If this comes up reversed, it's not. We're gonna, it's going to be upright. So basically I'm telling the universe right now that this card is going to be upright however way it comes out. It's just an overall energy. Um, this reading uh, may or may not be for you, and it may not resonate the very day that you watch it, okay? A lot of people got to keep that in mind. Divine timing is real, okay? And these are like previews, okay? So the minute you watch it, you know, it may not resonate. You got you to gotta be open, you know? You got to be open to the possibilities, and I find that there's a lot of people, you know, Leo in particular, and I and I know that you probably won't don't want to hear this, that you're a fixed sign. I'm a fixed sign. So I feel I feel you. I feel you. You know, maybe maybe you need to be a little bit more open to, you know, other perspectives and look at things through a different you know, a different way. Uh, that's just a message somebody needed to hear. Um I'm fixed as well, probably more fixed than you because I'm a Taurus. So I, I understand why, you know, you want to hang on to things that you always knew and look at things the same way. I totally get that. But being open to other perspectives is, is healthy, okay? So let's see what we got for Leo. What do we have for, I flip because that's what I do, um, but what do we have for Leo for the month of July? A major new beginning here, major, okay? This is huge. Now, Taurus got this, and Pisces got this as well, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You don't have to be. I just happen to remember that. But this is a this is a whole new world opening up for you. And it's funny that I started the reading out like I did. You need to be open to this whole new world, okay? Because when you step into this whole new world, it will be different than what you experienced in the past. And you're going to have to be open to change, open to this new experience, okay? So you have something brand new coming into your life. One chapter, one phase, one significant phase is coming to an end. It's like you've graduated, okay? You've graduated from something. You've learned some sort of lesson. Congratulations. Now this is celebrating success, okay? Yeah, you have successfully learned some lesson. You have successfully graduated from one phase of your life. It is a time of celebration because you're about to step into, you know, a new world. The opportunities are endless. They're endless. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Some of you may be traveling or moving. What do we have for Leo in July? Letting go of the past. Six of Cups reversed. Somebody's been clinging to the memories of the past. Clinging, clinging, clinging to the past. It's funny that I, again, started the reading out the way I did. Change is scary. You have to be open to the possibilities. What you did in the past is not going to work in this new world. It's not going to work in this new beginning. You have to change. You can't, you can't keep doing those same things.
Nine of Cups reverse. This is great. Nine of Cups reverse is a good card. Deep fulfillment is coming. Things are about to get better for you. A bond is deepening. Or it will deepen. Could be a, a bond within yourself. Could be a self-love kind of thing. But it might not be. Zoe. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop the dog from attacking. Okay. I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in right now. I'm sorry about that. I had an unexpected delivery. So, um... You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with both. Okay? This is an unhealthy situation. And we talked about your health a minute ago. Or a few minutes ago. Somebody has been avoiding challenge. Overwhelmed with fear. Overwhelmed with fear of, you know, change. But death, death is a card of release. It is the card of change. So this is releasing the past, releasing something that you have been clinging to. And when you release something, you have to cut the cords. And that means cut the cords. For real. And that means every single cord. So anyway, I you know, this is a this is a this is a new beginning here. Endings bring new beginnings. So something is coming to an end. Then we have a release, we have a transformation here. So you guys are going through a major transformation right now and deep fulfillment is coming. But you have to break free from an unhealthy situation completely. And somebody has been avoiding it. They've been avoiding that last cut hanging by a thread. Making an excuse. Could have to do with a child. Children could be involved here. This is a what this horse is about purity. It's about pure intentions of starting over. You have to start over with pure intentions. You have to let go of something in the past, something that you have been tied to. But anyway, we do have a major new beginning here. Somebody has been avoiding the challenge, avoiding it. What a mess. Ooh. Oh, well. You may not even want to hear this reading because it's not positive, right? It is positive. You have to look at it from a different perspective. Don't try to pick out the bad parts. Look at the positive aspects of it. We have somebody here that is in some sort of false sense of security. This is a, this is, this is, a, I mean, a tower right in the middle here, right now, right away, probably this month, there's going to be some sort of disruption. There's going to be some sort of upheaval that brings about a ma this major new beginning, this major new change, okay? There's going to be some sort of drastic breakdown of some sort okay and I'm not trying to scare anybody but we have some major 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 upheaval change life event that is going to change your direction for the better it's going to change your direction for the better but it may it may be uncomfortable 
It may be uncomfortable because you guys are so fixed. You're fixed. You don't like it. You don't want it. It's like you want it, but you don't want to deal with the challenge of it. You want it, right? You want this new life. You want this new beginning. But if it could be positive and easy, that would be best. But you don't learn anything. You don't gain any strength. You don't learn any lessons if it's easy. Life isn't easy. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Aquarius. This is a loss of a relationship. There could be somebody moving out of the home. Somebody could be getting kicked out. Kicked out of their home. You could be dealing with a father. You could be dealing with the father of your children. Or you could be dealing with the father of a child that is in the mix here that is kind of, you know, the child. It's like the child. There's a there's like a child here that is causing it's part of it, okay? It's part of it. Now, the Four of Wands down here in the approach, this is about happiness. This is your approach, your power. Commit yourself to happiness. This is a wish being fulfilled, so some sort of wish fulfillment here. The universe is coming in to take something out of your life that is a false sense of security. That's what this is. That's what this is. And they're doing it to protect you. They're doing it to bring you something better. This is universal, pr universal protection. This, this, this universe, this, this help that you are receiving is probably not very comfortable. It's not comfortable because you've got some challenges that you need to deal with. You're going to have to probably let go of a relationship, whether it's a friendship or it's an actual relationship or whatever, or it's a family dynamic or something. This is the, this is the, this is like a completion or the end or sadness over the end of a relationship of some sort. And it's because you are being protected. You have a new beginning here. But the only way you can have this new beginning is to accept this upheaval accept this disruption to deal with it you can't run from it anymore you can't deny it some sort of they're trying to bring you something beautiful okay they're trying to bring you your biggest wish happiness true love a tr they're, they're, that's what they're trying to bring you. They're trying to bring you together with your perfect match, okay? But you, they can't bring you until you do your part in release. And you can't you, use children as an excuse. And I don't know where that message is coming from, but it just came out of my mouth. We have somebody that is, that could be, if you are single, if you are completely single and you are watching this, we have somebody that is coming into your life, that is going to come into your life. Might not be this month. Maybe this person has already come into your life and you need to sever some ties before you can move forward. There's a false foundation here, a false sense of security that needs to, you know, it needs to be broken down. It needs to crumble so that you can have your biggest wish come true. And if you keep avoiding it, 
all it's going to do is cause more suffering and delay. It's going to delay your new beginning. But anyway, we have uh, a blessing, okay? This is a blessing. This this disruption, this upheaval, this move, this crumble, this, this shock, this uproar that you are about to experience is a blessing in disguise. This is universal protection. It's like this is heaven and this is the devil. This is good versus evil. You have to face change, like it or not. And it's amazing how I started out this reading. You got to face your fears. We got somebody here with great personal fear. But we have a major new beginning. We have a new beginning here that is going to fulfill your wishes. We, we, You guys could be getting in a new commitment. If you are completely single, you could go to some sort of picnic or gathering or event or show or something like that where you meet somebody. If you're single. Somebody, this is a dream come true. Okay, it really is. Whoever this person is that comes in, if you are single, this person is going to help you to release the past. If you are in a relationship now and it is crumbling and it is falling apart, you may have already met somebody that can fulfill your wishes, but you've got to sever these ties. You can't hold on by that last string. That doesn't work. Not for somebody who's stable, solid, and secure and has a lot to offer. Uh-uh. Who wants to deal with that? Who wants to deal with a person that is hanging on to their ex or hanging on to their past? Nobody. So this is this is letting go of a friendship or a relationship to find true happiness, to accept true happiness you have a solid opportunity here but you have to believe you have to believe and you have to trust and you have to have faith that endings bring you new beginnings and you have to release the past Some of you are moving. Some of you are about to move or somebody is about to. So there could be a change in the circumstances, the home circumstances. You definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some You could be dealing with a Capricorn who's manipulative and controlling. Or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a person that is holding on to you. And you need to find the strength to let them to say, you know what? I'm blocking you. For real. Don't use the child or the children as an excuse. That's just a way to stay connected. So yeah, we have a new beginning here, Leo. We do. The universe is protecting you from a demon. Or a demonic energy or something that is unhealthy for you. An unhealthy, toxic situation. This is the truth. The raw truth. This is the sword that cuts. This is the power. Taking the power and making that cut. Cutting that cord. This is accepting the truth. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up awakening. Somebody is waking, about to wake up. Now somebody has been playing the victim card. 
Oh, I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. You're not a victim. Or the other person. These, these can go vice versa. Somebody may be begging. Begging to stay or begging to stay in your life or begging for who knows what. Somebody is allowing themselves to be a victim of the circumstances when they have the power to cut the bullshit and seize a new opportunity. Let go of the regrets. Look forward now. Step forward into your power. Don't let your fears and your insecurities keep you stuck when you have this big, huge new beginning right in front of you. You have to completely release to receive this full blessing. And you've got a full blessing here waiting for you to accept it, to see it. To sever the ties with whoever it is that you are in an unhealthy bond with. It's time for your fresh start. It's time to leave the baggage behind. The fool, when he starts the new, he or she starts their new journey, does not bring the past with them. Uh -uh, like I said a little while ago, the past is the past. I'm moving forward and I'm leaving the rest behind. I'm starting over. I'm starting fresh. We have an exciting new beginning. It's time for you to replace that fear with faith and step into the unknown. And you can't bring the past with you. The last, the first card to the last card. You're about to start a new journey. And whatever it is that you have been holding on to. Whatever false sense of security that you have been holding on to. Is about to come crashing down. It's about to be removed you should be excited don't let this person hold you back don't use the let this person blackmail you with their children they may be using the children as a ploy to keep you. I feel like you guys are walking right into some sort of new new relationship, new beginning, new happiness. <laughs> New life, new world. But the only way to get there is to leave everything else behind. You can't take it with you. Because it's about happiness. It's not about those things. It's not about proving a point. It's not about what everybody else thinks. It's about your happiness. Anyhow, you have a major new life here about to begin. But it looks like there's going to be some sort of upheaval. There's going to be a, a, a purging. There's going to be a release. The universe is protecting you. And they're going to bring about some sort of event that changes everything. Be prepared to start over without whatever it is that you've been clinging to. You have a new beginning here. Somebody's somebody. If, if you are single, somebody new is coming into your life. If you find the strength 
to sever ties with that false sense of security. Somebody may have lost a friendship because of their falseness or a relationship because of their lack. Anyhow, we have we have a big wish being fulfilled here. I I, I suggest that you grab it. Leave the past behind. You guys are about to start on a whole new life. I mean, that's what it, that's what I see. It's, we got a whole a whole new life here, a whole new beginning. Could be moving to another place, moving to another place in the world. Something's coming to an end, and something better is beginning and that's that's what i see that is what i see good luck <laughs>